Welcome to the journey. Last week we looked at how to slow down our busy minds. And some of you have been trying to breathe in and breathe out and listen to the silence. And some of you say that you're still finding it very difficult, that your minds are very busy. And this is very normal. This is something that, like exercise, takes time to build the muscles. It is a really big challenge in our world of constant information flow and the demand for rapid responses to calm down. It's even more difficult when we live in a highly stressed environment and this time of lockdown is very stressful. What we want to do to regain perspective or calm our minds is be able to lay aside our thoughts. You know, we all have a certain amount of obsessive thoughts that go through our heads every day. As if we were on autopilot. We repeat them endlessly in our heads, on a loop, but they do not solve the problems that they raise. Meditation helps us to try and break these patterns of obsessive compulsive thinking. They may be thoughts connected to deeper feelings of insecurity or fear or anxiety or loss or even death. And laying aside these thoughts does not mean that we are ignoring them or even running away from them. We are rather stopping so that they are not running us or controlling us. And so we try in meditation to lay aside all our thoughts, past, present and future, as well as even the fantasy material that swirls in our heads. You see, friends, our minds are like a production line. They are constantly producing material. And the challenge is to retrain the mind. The great meditation teacher, Benedictine Father Lawrence Freeman, says that what we want to do is to say to the production manager, no, not now, please, I am busy. I will speak to you later on. We want to, for a few minutes, learn how to be rather than to do. Remember too that meditation is not about achieving anything. It is simply about being. There is a time to think and a time not to think. There is a time of stepping aside from all the production to listen more deeply to what our bodies are saying. You know, research suggests that meditation rejuvenates the whole person, the whole human system in a way very similar to sleep. So what tool can we use to try to lay aside our thoughts so that we can meditate? A way of keeping us focused is to choose and use a mantra. And a mantra is very simple. It's a word or a phrase or a syllable that means something to me. Spiritual guides say that we should choose that word very carefully because we should stay with that word and not change that word. And that word could be anything. It could be a word like peace or love or Jesus or Maranatha. Maranatha is a good word because it doesn't call to mind any image that your mind may want to get locked into. And the mantra becomes the tool to bring you back to meditation when you find your mind wandering. Settle into a place and a space for meditation. Become aware of your breathing and gently and slowly even listen to the silence and then begin to use your mantra. And as soon as your mind slips into action and to begins thinking about what you should do next and you become conscious of it, gently just return to that mantra, to that word. Because 
the mantra brings you back and helps you stay on course. We say the mantra continuously so that it not only calms the mind and keeps us on course, but also helps us to go beyond our ego. The ego doesn't like it when we put it aside, when we don't give it attention, when we're not giving ourselves attention. It doesn't want to give up power. And so we use the mantra, we take the attention off our thoughts and we begin to recenter and the ego slowly begins to learn its place too. And if we do this, we begin to find perhaps that calm space that we are looking for at this time.